What's up everyone? Welcome back to More Than Transit. You see, it's been a year since we last did a proper transit exploration video, right? I'm not mistaken that it's been since April 2022 and there should have been more but my poor wallet did not allow me to. Anyways, I happen to be in Amsterdam, the Netherlands the kingdom of bicycles and the city also has a metro network so welcome to the transit exploration video where I will be riding all I will be riding to all metro stations of the Amsterdam metro network I think in terms of infrastructures and um, non car dependent infrastructures the Netherlands have been one of the leading examples I'm currently at the neighborhood called Spaklerweg, which is a transit-oriented development community. I'm not sure if you can hear the train sounds behind my back, but we're gonna walk to the train station from here and let the challenge begin. Perhaps every neighborhood should be designed the same way that Spaklerweg is designed when you exit the train station, all you could see are houses, businesses, shops, and offices. Perhaps it should be the norm for all the future neighborhoods in the US and Canada for the future development projects. So the rule, as you know, is always simple. I think I don't have to explain again, but I shall do that anyways for the new viewers. Transit exploration videos means that I can only use public transit at a station. I'm not allowed to use bikes, scooters, any other modes of transportation. So in here I can use the trains, I can use the trains, I can use the trams, and I can use the bus. But those are my only options. And also another thing I should do before I forget to do, which is explaining the route. So you can see we're currently at Spaklerweg station. I'll take the M51 going to Isolatoweg, then take a bus to station north, which is right here. From north, I'll take the M52 going to south station, and then take either the M51 or M actually the M50 to Hein. From Hein, I'll take a bus to Hasper Plas and then take the M53 going all the way back to Central Station. The rule is always that I have to end this challenge or exploration at a downtown or like a core station of the city. So that's what I'm doing. The moment I start my timer, the challenge begins. The next Isolator Wag train is in 7 minutes, so another one just left earlier. Uh oh. It said Niet in Stappen, that means do not board. So I'm not sure <laughs> what do I do. But I think like, there will be some delays in our exploration. So the plan's gonna change a little bit since the M51 is not coming. I'm gonna take this M53 to the next station to go to Isolatuweg. So we're gonna change my plan because the M51 just decided to not coming and so we're gonna take the train to the next station Vander Madenweg. I'm taking the M50 to go to
I will have to head downstairs and go to the other platform to catch the M50. Alright, it's in three minutes. That's the M50 that we're gonna take to Isolatowek. It took us 12 minutes to go just one station. Fantastic. <laughs> Here it comes! Please mind the gap between the train and platform. Thanks, Navitech. Uitstappen linkerzijde. Overstappen op bus 62. Bye. 
step is to find bus number 37 to go to station Nord. So I have to walk to the main road to catch the bus which is which is like straight this way and it's the 37. I have no idea when's the bus coming but I'm pretty sure that it's not a 30 minute wait like in most North American cities. This looks like an uh, industrial slash business park for me. Um, of course, that I was able to see buildings within my walking, like within the station, but uh, there are no bus connections. That means I have to walk for a little bit. This kind of resembles a missing link, but because this bus is also running on a material corridor. So I get why it doesn't traverse into the station and then traverse back to its main road. The space for pedestrians is kind of narrowed here and then there are even cars allowed to park. Not the friendliest walking environment right here, eh? Oh boy, this is even worse. You know, I would not expect that I would see like hostile or like pedestrian unfriendly infrastructures in here, but Apparently there are. It's a 10 minute walk to the train station. No, I, I, sorry, I mean to the bus stop. But at least the sidewalk is very pleasant to walk in. And although this looks like a shroud to me, there are lots of islands the pedestrian, uh, the median is so wide that it absorbs most of the noise, so I could not hear them. Consider this is an industrial, like, consider this is an industrial area. There are very high quality bikeways still. North America, they don't even put sidewalks on them. <laughs> Here's the bus stop by the highway and there is a lane for the buses to stop and to speed up so based on what I'm seeing here this means I gotta wait take the 36 so I gotta take the 36 and based on the schedule that is so handy right at the bus stop here um, it's coming in seven minutes, which is at 11.57. Today is uh, Saturday, so... It's already one hour. One hour, guys. And we've only covered one line. So do you remember when I said that the bus will not come in less than 30 minutes? I have no idea when's the bus coming, but I'm pretty sure that it's not a 30 minute wait like in most North American cities. I was actually wrong. Um, today is a Saturday, so there is a little Saturday morning schedule before things change to every 15 minutes. Um, so it's actually every 30 minutes for now, but tomorrow is even worse. It's every 30 minutes all day. So the GVB app, which is Amsterdam's public transit network app um, did tell you when the, your next bus is gonna come and mine is delayed by one minute this is really good but you will need to have data in order to get access to this real-time information here it is Street. This is amazing. 
and this is an industrial area too. So finally arrived at Station North. My first impression about this bus line is that it's kind of infrequent, but it's kind of understandable because it was serving industrial and suburban areas rather than the urban cores. So maybe like lower frequency on a Saturday makes more sense economically. Now I'm gonna head straight to North Station to take the M52. It is coming in three minutes. It's now one hour, 25 minutes. And we need to take the train, go straight to Amsterdam South. Uh -huh, right on time. <laughs> So it turns out that M52 is a very short metro line. It took me only 23 minutes to complete it. The timer is currently at 1 hour 45 minutes and I need to find M54 platform going to Kine. Well, it's not coming in 8 minutes. From here it will be another 20, 20 minutes to Kine. This is the second time I'm riding the M50 today. The distance between the two stations of Duvendrek and Van der Madewek is so short that I was kind of unprepared for this. So I just arrived at Kai station. The timer is 2 hours 16 minutes. I 
need to find a bus connection to Khaspur Pass. The bus stop is not that hard to find because it is right at the station exit, as it should. However, the problem is that that is not mine and I have to cross the street because mine's on the other side of the tunnel. The Dutch designed this to be a continuous crosswalk. So, vehicles naturally stop. Oh my god, that's my bus. have to wait that long because the bus is right here nice now on the right bus I think that added another two or three minutes to the journey I guess yep two hours 23 minutes it was a pretty pleasant ride through the countryside of the rural Amsterdam, like the outskirt of Amsterdam. And now we're already at Kasperplas station. Okay, we're in the station. This is the last segment. Oh, these are smart escalators. So when there's no one using them, they will only stop. Oh God, there's a train. Just running to get inside this train, just so that it's not even departing until two minutes. not exceeded three hours to finish this in under three hours but I think it doesn't really matter anymore so what I do is just exit the station and end my timer which is three hours and three minutes we arrived at the station right at three hours and one minute I think if I did not make some of the mistakes about boarding the wrong buses or the issue with the M51 this journey can be easily done in three hours. Okay, so now I can officially end this. Clip it at three hours and four minutes. This is Central Station, or Central Station. The end point 
of this challenge. I just gotta say that this challenge has been really fun to do and I miss doing the transit explorations like this. Three hours and four minutes, that's how long it took. But definitely somebody can break me to this, I'm pretty sure. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next videos.